It seems to me that sometimes we've been overly optimistic. I mean, for example, going back to the time we admitted to the WTO, we thought China was going to become more like us. And then we go over to the other extreme of being perhaps overly pessimistic about China. I guess my question for you is former Treasury Secretary, among other things, how do we play both sides of that? We don't know how we'll end up. How do we keep open the realistic possibility we can really work closely with China, but also protect ourselves against the possibility of confrontation? We in the United States probably need to be careful about our evangelizing influence. I don't think it's really for us to tell China how they should organize their entire society. I think it's for us to stand up for some of our fundamental interests in security and fair economic competition, but uh, to leave it um, at uh, that point. I think we're going to need to be very careful with respect to our diplomacy on the issue of Taiwan. I think we need to be very careful about, about giving China the sense that we are trying to change the traditional uh, one China uh, policy, because I think that could risk uh, disastrous uh, conflict. So I think the operative words for us need to be respect for them, respect for the positions and the fundamental interests that they have, and at the same time, absolute insistence on our own. And I would say one other thing, uh, David. I think ultimately we will prevail in this broad contest with uh, China. But I think if and when we prevail, it is going to be more than anything else on the strength of our example. And that's why domestic renewal at home, whether the issue is scientific innovation or infrastructure, whether the issue is doing something about opiate, opiate deaths or whether the issue is strengthening our education uh, system, whether the issue is building on the greatness of uh, our universities or the greatness of our national parks. I think ultimately it's going to be our ability to remain the country that's the envy of the world, the country to which people want to come that is going to determine our success. And if we change our focus from building ourselves up mm -hmm. to tearing China down, I think we will be making a very risky and very unfortunate choice.